Snow chains. When you need them, there's nothing else better to get you out of a bind. Being stuck on the side of the road, night time, snowing, cars going past you, it's not a place you want to be. So chains, they are the best way to get you out of a bind. These are just the most traditional, basic kind of chain you can get, and they're also the best. They look the most medieval, but all the snow socks and different contraptions that you can stick on your tires, the amount of those we've seen on the side of the road, and that's basically meant people haven't been able to fit them properly, they haven't worked, they've been binned, I don't know. These guys, they may look like a pain in the bum to get on, but they're actually the best way to get you out of that ditch, or to even stop you getting into that ditch in the first place. Let's go down to the wheel. Let's see how quick they are to put on. It seems like most people are scared of putting these guys on because they don't know how. And it's actually pretty straightforward. You've got two ends, male and female. Grab the male end and stick that down behind the tire. Now when you're doing this, you want a decent pair of gloves and you're not gonna wanna be worried about getting muddy. Those G-Star Raws are going in the snow whether you like it or not. Right, grab the male end again. You've now flipped it around the back of the wheel. Grab the female end. Back up and around the tire and connect them up. Boom, like that. With a little bit of snow stuck in there, make sure that's out before you try and connect it up because it's gonna be a nightmare otherwise. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna get this section here and this section here. They're always gonna be at the top because they're always married up to this section here. So you get this red guy in this instance and this little bit of chain and you connect those two together, just like that. Boom, okay? And that means you can then move the rest of the chain behind the wheel and it's not gonna fall off and go anywhere. The next pieces you want is you want this little loop here. You want this red piece here that acts like a winch and it gives the chain extension. And then somewhere in all of this mess is the little hook. And that comes on a piece of chain like that. So get that coming through in a nice straight line so it's not twisted up. Now it's never gonna be right the first time. It's always gonna take a little bit of uh, back and forth into the car, out of the car. Sometimes you can do it in one crack, sometimes it takes two, sometimes it might take three to get these on properly. Not an exact science. So you grab your bit of chain, you stick it through your little winch section here, and you pull that up and you try and give it some tension. And what you wanna do is give it as much tension as possible so you can get that through that little hole. All right? And that's what's gonna stop it when you start uh, trying to adjust it and tighten it up. That's what's going to stop it going back behind the wheel again. If you try and move it forward and back now, you're just going to end up with this wrapped around your axle. Nightmare. All right. So we want to go forward about five meters. Gone forward and back, we didn't have very much room to manoeuvre, and you can see that this is all still loose. You can't drive like that. That's going to come off and it's going to cause you a mischief. This bit can come off and start flailing around and smashing up your wheel arch, which you do not want, obviously. So basically, then you take off this, you put it back through the hole, and you see how much more tension you can get on this guy. Now, if you come into the, have a look here, you can see that each bit of the keychain slots in. So you want to find a nice place where that slots in. It won't slot in if the chain is on, for example, this section here. It needs to be on one of these sections. All right, so we're going 
in, you might need to hold your thumb there just to stop it falling out while there's no tension on it. Okay, and now you can see how much more tension we've got on the chain. Quite a lot. Now that is not 100%. You could probably drive like that, but I wouldn't want to, because it's still got plenty of play. So let's go back to the board again. See where we're at. Again, pop this guy off. Now, let's go back through here again and let's just see how much more tension we can get. We can go right to the end. Obviously, you want to make sure the snow chains fit to your wheel. Um, these ones are pretty much maxed out on this wheel we've got here. I wouldn't want to go any bigger than this chain. You also got to make sure that the chain is the right. Uh, strength ratio I guess you'd say to the, the type of vehicle you're using so if you've got a car you probably have a 9mm chain if you've got a van like this one you want to go for a 12mm chain if you've got a 4x4 or bigger you're probably going to go all the way up to a 15mm same thing for a truck all right so that's that chain on Boom. now we're on the road we're moving, uh, let's get them off. Getting them off is an absolute doddle. First thing you gotta do is you gotta find out where the male and female connection is. You're gonna want that at the top of the wheel. Just turn your wheel around and see where it is. I've lucked out and I might have got it right at the top of the wheel here. So, happy days. Take it off, quite simply, bring that around, bring him around, on, boom, off. Okay, just unhooking everything like you've done before. Take this guy, unhook that. All right, now you can bring that piece up and you can unhook the male and female connector. Give it a little push and it will come undone. Now they're on the ground, you've quite simply got to ride, drive over them. And that's the chains off. So, in a bind, they're not really all that hard to put on. They're uh, the best and safest way to navigate in the snow. And uh, yeah, just get in there and do it. <laughs>